Private Warwick was perhaps the most remarkable shot of this period. With one of the competition rifles, the Sofa, he got off 60 rounds a minute, single loading, in two formal trials. This was a rate of fire never equaled by any magazine boat action rifle in British service. But the Sofa was rejected as being too complicated. As the French and Prussians abandoned their muzzle loaders and went over to breech-loading arms, the British realized that they had to follow. In 1864, a competition was held to find a simple breech-loading conversion for muzzle loaders. The result was the Montgomery Storm capping breech-loader, adopted generally for the army in 1864. Unfortunately, an adequate supply of good quality skin cartridges proved impossible to obtain. It was the end for the Mont Storm. The American Snyder breech design was adopted in its place. It depended on a metallic centerfire cartridge, the first modern type of cartridge in British service with its own ignition. The Snyder was very successful. The only real trouble arose when the orphan boys of the Royal Laboratory who assembled the cartridges left out one of the components and the cartridge burst in the gun. To prevent all possibility of the breech blowing open with a faulty cartridge, the Mark III Snyder was eventually introduced with a breech that was positively closed with a catch. <laughs> 